tweeted some rants, and the press wet their pants. <laughs> Like clockwork, the president unloaded on Twitter, sending the whiny world of media into a frothing frenzy. In case you need reminding, he tweeted, I heard poorly rated Morning Joe, accurate, speaks badly of me. Don't watch anymore. Who doesn't? <laughs> then how come low IQ crazy Mika, along with Psycho Joe, came to Mar-a-Lago three nights in a row around New Year's Eve and insisted on joining me? She was bleeding badly from a facelift. I said no! <laughs> All right, <laughs> clapping over the tweet. Okay, I think it's kind of harsh until you remember that Joe and Mika, i.e. the two-headed smarm machine, <laughs> nail Donald Trump daily. Yeah. It's, it would be like somebody pooping their pants and then people looking at it and saying, oh, that's modern art. He, right. he looked like a thug. He looked like a goon. You look at the handshake, uh, you look with, look, look at this, just what a thug. It's, but it's just, what an embarrassment. Look, he's mauling him like an idiot. Just for the record, we're all really nervous. Donald Trump, again, being a schmuck. Nothing it's makes a man photo. feel better than making a fake cover of a magazine yes. about himself, lying every day and destroying the country. Oh, they're so charming together. <laughs> Save two other people a life of misery by hooking up. <laughs> anyway, so... kind of bummed that the president tweeted this because it's turned this pretentious pair into victims when all they do really is snipe at other people and they also put out lousy music videos I, I'm looking inside Was like someone auto-tuned cat vomit. I have heard better noise from raccoons fighting in my trash cans. But hey, at least you got a new name for the band. Anyway, speaking of pooping, Donnie Deutsch practically pooped in his pants Friday morning over Trump. And he's a pig. He's a vulgar pig. He's physically disgusting to look at. He's not mentally okay. Enough is enough. Enough is enough with this disgusting, vulgar man. And to talk about women that way? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, we go to the rest of America. This one. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Joe, I have this theory. There are three worlds. There is the political world that are upset about this, mm -hmm. the media, which is apoplectic, yeah. and then the rest of the world, which is that cute, slow lore, it's just going like, I don't really care about this. Yeah, we're not as obsessed with the media as they are with themselves. <laughs> yes. But they don't realize Trump has a secret weapon they don't have. They don't have dirt on him, he has dirt on them. Yes. We know everything about him because he's been famous for decades. True. The problem is, three years ago, they were all kissing his ass. Yeah. So he has the scoop on them. Now, the thing I don't like is, as far as insults go, uh, I kicked you out of my party because your facelift was bleeding. <laughs> That's an unbelievable insult. It is. Uh, <laughs> Kathy Griffin wishes she came up with that insult. Just... What I don't like is because your face with facelift was bleeding, and here's my health care plan. Yeah. I, I don't think, <laughs> as president, you can do both of those. I think it's a lot to ask for people. So if there was a job where he just insulted the people, I'd be like, yeah, that's you really. That was a sick also, bird. Why is he saying facelift like a? It's a bad thing. Yeah. Like, this is America. <laughs> I plan yeah. to get several someday. Yeah, yeah, let's, be, let's be honest. I mean, there's a man who's had m many fake breasts in his orbit around him. So he's not a stranger to the work right. of a good doctor yeah. being in the vicinity. But, that, no, but that's the point. He wasn't insulting her. He was insulting the work. Oh. <laughs> yeah. it was, it's like, he was like, actually, uh, you know, I, I, he probably had a better doctor. <laughs> but look, Greg, I yes. mean, okay, there's a saying in Washington that you are only as big as your biggest enemy. Mm -hmm. So in Tyrus's case, that would be uh, Godzilla. <laughs> 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 I
I see a okay, love connection. Right. So, um, <laughs> so with this tweet, the president, he simultaneously diminished himself and elevated his enemies. If yeah. he had just ignored them, that, that would actually be worse I, punishment. I kind of agree with you because I don't, it, uh, well, I don't know. I got to ask you though, Kat, it is, it, it, it's hard to feel sympathy for these pedestrian status seekers. It's like, maybe if it was somebody else he was insulting, but they've always, every morning, they're on media welfare. Nobody watches their show. And the only reason why they're still there is they invite political guests and media on their show. And so they will never get canceled. That's my theory. Okay, well, again, he didn't really do himself any favors yes. with this tweet because it made, get, turn them into victims. Like you said, yeah. it turned them into victims. And, um, Again, I also kind of don't feel like cosmetic surgeons work holiday weekends. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't. So I have some kind of questions there about the accuracy. And then I think to myself, what is this that I'm thinking about right now all week long? <laughs> and what is even happening right now? And I totally agree with you on the fact of like he's going to tweet this, tweet that. You have to pick between trying to be the next Joan Rivers and trying to be the president. Or it is going to be a little harder for you, as you saw this week. But Joan Rivers would have been a great president. I, the she fact was. that she's dead before all of this happened uh. is something that we should all be crying about daily. <laughs> yeah. You know, Tyrus. Yes. I find it funny how feminists are calling Trump sexist for treating a woman like a man. Isn't that, isn't that what they want? Well, the uh, insult, insults know no gender. That should be a t-shirt. And <laughs> when it comes to dissing somebody, yeah, I mean, it's all fair. And to be like, they've been riding on him for a minute. Yeah. And there was, and they used to be, apparently they were friends. Yeah. So, and so they were just, they call him a schmuck. Yeah. I mean, you, you kind of pushed him there and then he wrote on you and he brought up real stuff. This yeah. is why you yeah. don't have pillow talk with someone you're going to break up with. Yeah. Because exactly. when you tell your boys, like, oh, I wasn't even talking to that girl. Oh, really? That's what you didn't say yeah. last night when you was telling me about your mom and you cried. She never loved you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's, and that's what those were. And everybody else is appalled. You, you know, know what it is? It's, it is the most codependent relationship. The, um, um, Joe and Mika and Trump, because they they want they wanted to in, insult him so they can keep their friends, but they want to keep him close because they want the influence and show up at Mar-a-Lago with their stitches. Also, their little Wapo thing, saying that he oh. wasn't like this, he's it, changed in the past two years. It's like, you were hanging out with him on New Year's Eve yes. after he already was talking about another female anchor's blood. Yeah. He did the, he's not changed. He hasn't what are you changed. talking we're about? We're missing the biggest point. What? He dropped his video after the diss, right? Yeah. His yeah. music career is launched now. Because <laughs> yeah. before, it would have been him, his wife, and him watching that video. Now everyone's going, let me check. Damn. Yeah. Like, that's, he's that, doing this. Wait, 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 they got still. attention. <laughs> They left their vacation Wait, to do an interview. I, I mean, it was like, they, I, they look. I got to tell you, um, <laughs> Joe, uh, it, it, you know, they've been accusing Trump of being a sexist. Uh, but I don't think Joe Scarborough is all that innocent. Do we have something? Have you seen, um, have you seen Fred Thompson's wife? Oh, yeah. You know. You think she's, she thinks she works the pole? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what a Hollywood career is to do for you, I guess. <laughs> And with that, Donald Trump is off the hook. <laughs> yes. All right. Do I hear music? I think I do. Later in the show, new details.